Hello, today we're on lesson 6.3, comparing functions. And our essential question, how can you use tables, graphs, and equations to compare functions? So the main thing you should do is either compare them with two different graphs, or what I like to do is compare them as two equations. So if you look here, it says to compare a function written as an equation and another function represented by a table, find the equation for the function in the table. So this is just using information that you've already known. So here it says Josh and Maggie buy MP3 files from different music services. The monthly cost Y dollars for X songs is linear. The cost of Josh's service is Y equals 0.5 X plus 10. Which with this uh, Y equals 0.5 X, that means it's 50 cents per song plus $10 to join the club. Now Maggie's, uh, what you're going to have to do is you're changing Y divided by change in X. So here we have 5, 495, and then 10, 990. So they did 990 minus 495 divided by 10 minus 5, which is 495 over 5 equals 0.99. Now they use the y-intercept. They put it in y equals mx plus b form, plugged in 495 for the y, and then the 5 for the x, which was right here. And they found out that the B was zero. So they would end up with Y equals 0.99 X. That means it's 99 cents per song. Now for part B, it says, which service is cheaper when 30 songs are downloaded? All you're going to have to do is plug 30 songs into the X for Josh's service. So it's the 50 cents per song times 30 plus the $10 uh, service charge. So this is going to be the 0.5 times 30 is 15, plus 10 is 25 bucks. For Maggie's service, it's going to be 99 cents times 30, which is $29.70. So Josh's service will be cheaper. So you're going to just do everything that you know how to do, but turn them both into equations so you can compare them easier. So if you look here, it says Quentin is choosing between buying books at a bookstore or buying online versions of the book for his tablet. The cost Y dollars of ordering books online for X books is Y equals 695X plus 150. So it's 695 per book plus a dollar fifty charge. The cost of buying books at the bookstore is shown in the table. Which method of buying books is more expensive if he wants to buy six books? So we already have the first one. Now we can look here. So change in Y divided by change in X. So we'll use uh, these two. So 15 minus 750 divided by 1. So it's 750 per book. So if you're going to plug in a 6, so 7.5 times 6, this one uh, is going to be... $45. I just did 7.5 times 6 and got $45. And then the other one, it's going to be 6.95 times 6 plus $1.50. So 6.95 times 6 plus 50. So the uh, ordering books online is going to be 43 20. So which one's cheaper? Online. So do you see all you're going to have to do is just put in two different, uh, put them both as equations and then plug in what you want to know. So we also have comparing a table and a graph. So if you want to look for Morgan, uh, Morgan's unit rate, change in Y divided by change in X. 60 minus 30, so we'll use these 2, divided by 4 minus 2. So that's going to be 60 minus 30. 30 over 2 is 15. So Morgan types 15 words per minute. Now, Brian, we're going to have to figure out, uh, looks like it's going to be uh, 20 over 1. So if you do rise divided by run, you can go up 60 over 3. 
or uh, 20 over 1. So Brian types faster than Morgan. Which student types more correct words per minute? Brian. Now, uh, for reflect, for number two, Katie types 17 words per minute. Explain how a graph of Katie's would result, uh, test results would compare uh, to Morgan and Brian's. Uh, it would be right between them. Since it's greater than 15 and less than 20, so it's going to be between both. Okay, so now we have comparing a graph and a description. So it says, Jamal wants to buy a new game system that costs $200. He does not have enough money to buy it today, so he compares layaway plans at different stores. The, the plan at store A is shown on the graph. Store B requires an initial payment of $60 and weekly payments of $20 until the balance is paid in full. Now write an equation in slope-intercept form for store A's layaway plan. Let x, uh, store A is on the graph, so we need our y equals something x plus something. Now this is going to be our y-intercept, so it looks like they're going up by 20s, so we have 100 bucks to spend. And then you can do rise divided by run. Looks like it goes down 20 over 2, which is negative 10. So it looks like they're saving 10 bucks, is how, or they're going to pay $10 on the plan. And they already, and they only borrowed 100, which is our y intercept. So it's y equals negative 10x plus 100. So after 10 weeks, all 100 bucks is paid off. So now the next one for B, write an equation slope-intercept form for B's layaway plan. So we're going to do our same y equals something x plus our y-intercept, or initial cost. So if B requires an initial payment of 60, the amount he has to still pay on is 140. But then they're paying $20 a month, so this is going to be a negative 20. So now it says sketch a graph of the plan on store B on the same grid as A. So our y-intercept will be higher at 160, but then it pays off, it, you pay off $20 each month. So it looks like they pay it off in eight weeks. So how can you use the graphs to tell which plan requires a greater down payment? That's your y-intercept. So it looks like the store B, had, or store A has a greater down payment because you have to pay $100 on that. Store B, you only have to pay 40. Now the equations, 100, that's what's left of the 200. And then 140 is what's left of the 200 because you have to put 60 down. So how can you use the graphs to tell which plan requires the greater weekly payment? That's the steepness of the slope. So if you look, the red one is going down 20 over 1. The other one's only going down 10 over 1. So with the red one, or plan B, you're going to be paying twice as much each week. Or each month. Oh, it's each week. So with store A, you'll have it paid off in 10 weeks. With store B, you've got it paid off in 8 weeks. So that's all I have for today. Just remember that whenever you are comparing two different functions, you either have to have them both as graphs or both as equations. That's all I have. Thanks.